What's going on, everybody? Seth Miranda. I'm Dave Bresca. This is Adorama Rewind. So let's get to the first story. Yeah, so uh, 2019 Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition opens... Today. Today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a photo from the last uh, winners. Uh, this is kind of interesting. So this is the 54th uh, one of these. Yep. Of these competitions. And this is actually put on by the uh, Natural History Museum in London. Which yeah. Yeah. So uh, there's if, 19 categories, I believe. Yeah. So if you are interested in wildlife photography, you're, you're really into it. Um, take a look at this, yeah, this jump competition. On at very least, even if you don't enter to this, look at some of the entries as they come in, because there's some really good stuff that ends up on there. Yeah. Get a good idea of what, if you're into wildlife photography, what people are looking at when they judge it or what's an elevated style of it or things like that. It's just Get if you want to get involved, it's a good way to start out, and you know, everyone loves competitions, yeah. So, <laughs> all right, so uh, this one's pretty cool. Rock star Jack White launches a photo lab, an analog photo lab, yeah. Uh, this is very cool, I think. Um, mostly it's the that he's doing the C41 color negatives and the, the e slide film, the E6. Uh, that's that's kind of interesting. The prices are are not bad for seven to thirteen bucks, depending. I mean, if you're already shooting film these days, you know you're you're throwing money down. But yeah. it's just cool that this is a guy that brought vinyl back out. He was he he started his own vinyl pressing company for actually making records, and yeah. so he went. Now he's going into the visuals for analog, which is really awesome. Uh, we get asked all the time, where can we drop film off? And this place is in Manhattan, but it's just kind of yeah. cool that. The 35 millimeter 110, 220, 120, um, medium format, obviously, uh, E6, black and white, C41, all the basics. Yeah. No, I, I think it's, I think <laughs> Don't get great. too excited, Dave. No, I think it's, it's cool because, um, like you said, there's, there's a lot of places that you can send your film to. Yeah. Um, but everybody does it a little differently. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. so it's, it'll be interesting to see how, they, how this plays out, you know? Yeah, I just think it's cool that the, this guy is really all about analog and uh, on all formats, audio, visual, whatever, and he's just, he just stepped yeah. into our genre. So nice job, Jack. Um, <laughs> th speaking of uh, processes, now the new, we're getting away from the analog. This is super going forward. Right. So this company from France, Pixie, introduced this guy, uh, Rangefinder Camera, which actually is optical rangefinder, but it shoots and the visual, the uh, display preview is on your phone. Also, global shutter. Yeah, and it's it's M mount. Yes, like a glass. Like an M mount. Um, this is interesting. It also has its internal storage. Yeah, eight so, gigs or thirty-two gigs is the um, options. So we do not know resolution. They have not listed that. We do not know pricing, and we do not know availability. But. There are physical units out there, apparently. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, they just announced it, but it's just very interesting to see what's happening. It's a very minimalistic design, which is very Leica looking. Yeah. Uh, the top uh, OLED, which I'm a huge fan like, of. Like a futuristic Leica look, you know? Yeah. It's, it's it, kind of weird. Well, they made a point of making it an actual rangefinder. There's no EV in there. It's, yeah. an actu it's actual glass. Um, and the Leica mount plus global shutter is the big deal here. So for those who don't understand what global shutter is, instead of it being a rolling pixel, which could actually cause distortion when you're panning while it's taking the photo, or if there's mo motion, like if you're shooting a car, we'll those wheels slants. could be an egg, you, yeah, know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So a global shutter is all at once, all the pixels activated. Pretty interesting, Dave. Yeah, and I think it's also interesting that it's yet another camera coming out that doesn't have a card slot. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's true. So the, they took the display out of the camera. Now it's on your phone if you need to see a preview. Otherwise, you're just shooting like we used to, just shooting and trusting and knowing what you got going on inside the camera, which yeah. is kind of a really interesting feel as far as the oh, way yeah. you shoot. So yeah. if you ignore the phone part of it, this is kind of interesting. I think it slows you down a little bit. and Get gets, chimping. Gets, yeah, it's like, well, and I mean, all of it, just like not looking at the shots every time, yeah. you know, it kind of, it just, you're, you're more into the moment. You're more so. with the camera, you're more yeah. with uh, what's in front of your camera and, and less of like, well, did I get it? How, do I get it? How can I change it? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it is working via Wi-Fi to your phone, so I don't know about battery consumption. Yeah, and, and it's, it, it is, it might be a bit scary to see how the, the files are handled, you know, like I'm not sure, right. is it just the internal storage? 
Is it also transferring the RAWs to your phone? Like, and then what's the deal there? Right, so, so it, it's looking like it's geared for low noise and it looks like it's geared for uh, light files, which, so we're assuming it's around a 12 to 16 megapixel. Don't quote us on that, but we're, we're calling it a lower resolution CMOS right. sensor. Uh, more, uh, more manageable files, great, especially if you're connecting via Wi-Fi to a phone. But the Leica Glass and Global Shutter, it, this is interesting. I don't know what the price point's gonna be, but that's, that's what we're gonna watch on. Yeah. Uh, all right, so check out that link below if you wanna see what that camera's about. Also, the Comic-Con video dropped. We, yes. uh, me and Daniel Norton went live at Comic-Con, shot live for a crowd. Here's my mug, apparently. <laughs> um, so we had some trials and tribulations. You were there, we had some tech issues, but we got through it and you guys can check exactly how that went down. This is my new series, Live View. Yes, yeah, that, that is, um, that was a, a, a very interesting experience. <laughs> yeah, it was a big crowd <laughs> and a lot of big problems that were happening, but yeah. Um, th so that series is more about like uh, the workflow, what it's like to actually be doing the job rather than just like a tutorial. So right. if you're interested in that kind of mindset, check it out. Yeah. Uh, I do want to thank everybody that's left amazing comments on that video. It's been very well received. And we have videos coming from Europe on that same series. Yes. Pretty so much every Sunday. There's more, there's more coming. Um, We've already shot a decent amount, so, yeah. so the, this is it, the post-production process on them all. But. Yeah, uh, but we also got a new guy on the channel, yeah. Andy Toe. Yeah, so we have the new show, Run and Gun. Wow. Uh, and yeah, this is, um, I mean, they do beautiful work. Like the, High the production stuff that, value yeah, on the this stuff, guy. Yeah, the stuff that they do is, is fantastic. Um, so if you, if you want to get into travel photography or videography or um, you, you just want to watch something that will help you because there's a lot of, of interesting techniques that they yeah like not techniques necessarily but things that that they say that will help you become a, a better photographer. You know? Yeah, it's, but with the stuff you already have, like it's yeah, not yeah, about yeah, yeah. you need to buy this to get it to do this. Like they actually show you how to get the uh, the maximum optimizing out right. of what you have. I, I, I think what's really cool about it is the high energy and then it slows down and it lets you think, and then it's back to high energy, and you're yeah, like, yeah. I gotta go shoot, I have to go shoot like right now. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a two and a half minute investment, so I, I strongly recommend you hit the link, uh, write some comments, let us know what you think about it. Uh, is this the series? Yeah, so this is the series. The first episode, which is actually just kind of the introduction to them and the show, is out now, but obviously more is coming, in, including, um, you know, kind of, equipment that is used and other things so so like you know what to do with social media so i think it's it's they're very to watch. on what's going on they're very into what's now is is andy toe i gotta say the guy's yeah. really killing it uh we're psyched to have him on the channel we're psyched for everything that's coming out on the channel a lot of stuff about to break on the channel yeah so yeah. keep watch we will keep on filling you in i think we're light on the news this week Yes, we are. So we are. Uh, we out. Are we done? That, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay, because I'm good. Are you good? Are you good? <laughs> Hit like. Talk to us in the comments. Let us know what you think about that Pixie camera. I'm kind of curious. Do you guys care that there's no card slots? Do you guys care about the low resolution? If we're assumptions are right, um, we're connecting to your phone. Are you into that? Are you going to send some stuff to Jack Black to get processed and then send it over to Kodak to get a <laughs> to go get scanned in? Uh, you know. Oh, are you going to submit into that wildlife competition? Are you into competitions or is that passe? Are you guys, are the newer right. generation psyched on it? Right. Is Instagram enough of a competition for you? I don't know. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the stuff. I'll be down in the comments. Are you going to be down in the comments? Yep. Okay, he'll be down there. Hit this bell somewhere over here so you can let you know what's happening on our channel all the time. We go live randomly. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. I think that's that, it. Like, that subscribe, share. Yeah, we asked enough of you guys. All right. All right. Cool. Thanks. Peace. See ya.